Hi everyone, welcome back to the Geordie View for the final match review of the season. Newcastle United winning 2-0 at Fulham. I'm happy to see the back of this season. You know, it's just been terrible from start to finish. I mean, not only um, the football's been terrible and Steve Bruce still needs to go, but um, with it being behind closed doors, you know, it's just been depressing. But we've made it to the end. So looking at the start 11 for us. There was only one change. Sean Longstaff came in for Joel Linton. Almiron went up top with uh, Sir Maximin. Um, Sir Maximin, obviously, he made it for fitness-wise. So did Willock and uh, Dubravka. And um, for a chance the game came to Sir Maximin. Does well. He gets a shot away, but um, it's tipped up right away by uh, the Fulham keeper. Fulham's main chance came when Almiron uh, tried to find Sean Longstaff, but he gave that one away to Luckman. He makes a good run. He finds a Caballero. He curls it wide. And then we get the first goal. This is just brilliant from Willock. Makes a run from his own half. Um, I think the defender blocked it, but it came ball came back to him and he just fired it home. So that's seven goals in seven games for him. And um, he's now matched Alan Shearer. I re you know what I know Arteta hinted he was um wanting to sign Willock. So he wanted to play Willock uh, on Friday, but um you know what I think he's uh, hinted that um he wants to sit down with uh, you know his team and um yeah discuss uh, his options whether he wants to play for us or for Arsenal. Um, they're going to give him the game time. You know what? I think you could probably get into the Arsenal side. I mean, he scored, was it more goals than Arsenal's midfield combined this season? But I do hope he can come back. And he has hinted, I think, that um, he'd like to come back by saying along the lines of, um, you know, I wish there was more games for me to play for this team. And I do think, I mean, yes, there might be the worries that um, it'd be Kennedy all over again, where he looked so good in the first half of the season, then just slip wasn't the same afterwards. Well, the first loan spell. But um, he's better than Kennedy for me. Um, Fulham did have a chance. We gave the ball, well, it did give the ball away. Uh, the ball came to. Um, as a Cavalero again, he just fired it over, and this sums up Fulham. They're not scored. I think they've now scored the least goals at home in the Premier League season. I mean, you can. I mean, it's kind of typical these records get broken in a season where we've not had, um, we've barely had any fans at uh, the games. But um, yeah, the that just sums them up uh, this season. They play good football at times, but they're finishing. And as I mentioned, Madja and Mitrovic, the two strikers, only three goals each. Um, Cavalero did have another shot, which was curled wide. And then, um, in towards the end of the game, we got our second goal. A throw in, got a throw in, ball came to Richie, was touched by Teddy, but he just goes down. For me, it's not a penalty, but the referee gave it. And then Fabian Scher came on. And um, he put it away to make it 2-0. And if that's his last act in a Newcastle shirt with his contract coming to an end, then, um, yeah, I'm glad it, it was a positive one. Rather than the red card against uh, Arsenal. So looking at the final table, we actually did finish 12th. We made up enough of a goal swing on Wolves to do so. Because they lost 2-1 to uh, Man United. Uh, Crystal Palace and Southampton also lost, so we go above them. But uh, we actually scored more goals than uh, Wolves this season. So that's why we finished above them. We had the same goal difference and uh, points. But, um, yeah, I'm just obviously happy the season is done. But what I will say before I end this video is on uh, Wednesday night, round half seven, I am planning on doing a live stream. The first one on the channel where I'm going to get you uh, people in to talk um, 
you know, about their thoughts on the season, the best moments, worst moments, who needs to be sold, what kind of players we need to bring in. But, um, yeah, it'd be good to get people on for it um, if you just want to come on. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to my channel, check out my social media pages in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you later.